You love the way that Elite 2 controller feels when you wrap your greasy mitts around it after a hard day's sleeping at your desk. After an honest day's work making the boss feel like an insignificant man then coming home to ignore your wife and kids, you kick up your feet, knock off your boots or loafers or whatever you wear, maybe you wear flip-flops to work, shit, I don't know. You take those cold gamer icicles you call fingers and you wrap them firmly around the plastic shell of a DualSense controller. Or an Xbox gamepad or maybe a Nintendo button stick shaft. Test. We've reviewed dozens of custom premium and pro controllers right here at Gamer Heaven, but we've never taken a step back to assess the situation do you really need one of these Pro controllers? First of all, let's define the word need. Unlike that sweet Voss or that garden hose tap, you're not gonna die if you don't have one of these chunks of plastic. However, when does it become practical to own a Pro, Premium, or Custom controller? Which, by the way, are three different categories of controllers, but I'll do a separate video on that, probably a shorter video, hopefully. I'm long-winded sometimes. When I get a little breeze in my sails, I'm rather long-winded, we know that. If you play a lot of competitive third and first person shooters or action adventure games where you are constantly noticing that you are having to stop aiming or moving to take your fingers off of the thumbsticks, analog sticks, joysticks of your controller to move them over to the D-pad or face buttons to where you are dying frequently, or if it is an online multiplayer game you are simply not really able to stay competitive, or maybe you're a casual player but it is taking away from your enjoyment and pleasure of playing video games you might want to look into a premium or pro controller. However, if you are on an extreme budget, you can do what is called playing claw grip. Arthritis isn't really that big of a deal. And as long as you stretch your sweet fingertips, joints, and ligaments before wrapping your hands on that gamepad, you can prolong the inevitable. Yeah, much like stick drift. Speaking of stick drift, I see Vicuda beat me to the punch of reviewing the Ghoulie Kit King Kong Diddy Kong Nutbuster 3000 Anti Stick Drift Can Never Get Stick Drift controller gamepad. I feel like a real sack of schmeckles. That controller, as well as probably six or seven others, has been sitting in the closet waiting for review. But I took a little bit of a break to align some things in my personal life and take care of some personal projects around the house and whatnot. But now, like a bottle of Belle Delphine's bathwater, I'm in it to win it. Ah. Speaking of which, if you thought Belle Delphine bottling and selling her bath, Bathwater was an entrepreneurial play. I'm actually going to be bottling my own formula and selling it online. It's called Gamer Goo, so you can get a good seal between your palm and that controller plastic. Don't ask what's in it. Just generously apply and call me in two days. Oh, boy. So along with playing claw grip or as an alternative to it, you can also rebind a lot of your buttons to things like bumper jumper. Oh, my GoPro just died. It's fine. We'll just hide that source. Nobody was... I'm watching that anyway. There we go. If you are on a budget, but not completely broke to where you can't afford some type of a controller, but maybe not like a $150 to $350 flagship controller, you can get yourself something like the Power A Spectra if you're on Xbox and don't mind being wired. That's about 30 bucks on Amazon, sometimes cheaper. I've seen it as low as $22. That has two programmable rear buttons. And I think it has trigger stops as well, but as with most Power A trigger stops, they do virtually nothing. Why bother? Oh, yep. Marketing gimmick on the box, for sure. The next option or alternative I want to give you is that you can actually build your own customer premium controller by sourcing individual parts from a company called Extreme Rate, which does sell their products on Amazon. They have a website too, but just go to Amazon. Prime two-day shipping and a no questions asked return policy. What You know, what's there to lose? But you can buy cosmetic appearance modifications as well as performance upgrades such as McClicky... McClicky? Yeah, my controller's got the McClicky buttons on it, such as mechanical tactile clicky switches for the bumpers and triggers, such as programmable rear buttons or paddles, such as swappable thumbsticks. Yes, you can actually do all this yourself. It takes a little bit of DIY knowledge and confidence to be able to disassemble a controller, but I do have tutorials that will be, well, I'll probably forget, but if I don't, linked in the description below. Or you can always go in the controller playlist, which has well over 100 videos on the topic of controllers or gamepads, and there is disassembly or teardown videos there. If you're an audience member, a subscriber and you want a premium or pro controller, but you just can't afford one every month. AIM Controllers does host a giveaway where they give away. Yep, that's what you do during a giveaway where they hand over a $350 store credit and free shipping to a lucky member here at Gamer Heaven. So that's an option for you. Or if you're just trying to save a couple of shekels, but you are interested in a premium or pro controller in the description of all of my videos, there are some exclusive discount codes for Hex and AIM. And I do have to say the ones for AIM are actually pretty substantial. Generally, it's 10% off any purchase of $50 or 
or more. However, with additional promotions, which they do stack or link, I've seen people get 20% off their order plus free shipping and additional things like charger docks and gift cards. I actually made a written post a couple of days ago on Twitter, Discord, YouTube, and Facebook gaming about all of the promotions this July. They're giving away a whole slew of stuff. Just use my code stallions at checkout. The last sentiment I want to leave you with is not only that you do not need a pro controller, but the fact that you cannot afford one or maybe the geographic area you're in, you cannot get them delivered to you. You don't have access to them. That is actually going to make you a better gamer because you're working on the core fundamentals of first and third person shooters. And whenever you do get a pro controller, you are going to be that much better because you are no longer touching those face buttons or D-pad. You are bound to those rear buttons. Thus, all of those good habits and routines that you've been getting into building the fundamentals are going to be even more amplified for you because you did them on a standard controller as where now you have a advanced, expensive, overpriced, but inherently good gamepad or controller that can really take you to the next level. Little sidebar or side note, I would recommend that if you do get a premium or custom controller, that you do keep at least one, preferably two standard factory OEM stock controllers because a lot of times when you buy one of these premium or custom controllers, you're going to opt for mechanical mouse-like triggers, which make them not usable in racing games and even some platformers. Or maybe you share the controller with a spouse, coworker, friend, buddy that comes over for some couch co-op and they don't like rear buttons. They accidentally hit them. They don't know how to use them. It's good to not have a premium controller be your only option. However, if it is going to be your only or primary controller, I do recommend getting a controller that does have removable paddles such as the aim controllers or at least ones that can be deactivated if they have to be installed on the controller. You can at least turn them off to where they're not bound to anything. You ain't gonna be no snap aim and stallion or no esports athlete without a pro controller in your hand. <laughs> Was that a stock controller? I remember my first Call of Duty lobby. How many buttons you got on the back of that controller? None? Don't talk to me. Probably got a low credit score too. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable clothes to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. Talk, to get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord, and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding, starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily, all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.